Emily Turner with LeanSecrets.com and today I want to show you a wedding workout. I've gotten some messages from some brides that are going to get married pretty soon and I'm so excited for you guys. Woohoo! You put a ring on it. And I'm going to show you some wonderful moves that are going to get you in tip top shape for your wedding. It's a lot of calisthenics, body weight exercises, and stability work. So you're working your core and all the little and big muscles in your body at once. A lot of circuit training. So let's go ahead and get right into the workout. So you want to warm up with five minutes of jump rope that's just going to get everything going, get the blood flowing and all that stuff. Next, we're going to do some dive bomber push-ups. Dive bomber push-ups, you might have seen these before, and basically it's just a full body movement. You're kind of swan diving into the push-up. If you can do this on one leg, that's even better. One leg dive bomber push-ups are super hard, but they're super duper effective. Great for your core and your shoulders, your butt, even you're tightening your butt on the way up. So definitely awesome, awesome workout. Next exercise, you're gonna go right from the dive bomber push-ups into the one-legged burpees with the jump at the top. The one-legged burpees with the jump at the top is obviously way more challenging than, than just regular burpees. As you can see in the video, what I'm doing here is I'm exploding up as I go up. And then as I go down, nice and gentle, keep the knees nice and soft. Next, we're gonna move on to our stability ball. You probably use the stability ball for crunches, but I want you to think outside the box today, and we're gonna use the stability ball for overall conditioning. We're gonna get some core action going, but we're also going to get some upper body action going. You want those shoulders to be nice and sculpted on your wedding day, so I want you to go ahead and put your feet on the ball, and you're gonna do push-ups off of the stability ball. If you're up to the challenge, like I show in the video right here, you're gonna lift one foot off of the stability ball. That's super duper hard. Your shoulders are gonna be burning, but it's gonna be worth it. The payoff is amazing. Now at this point, your shoulders are gonna be on fire. So we're gonna incorporate some lower body movements. You're gonna do a butt lift on one leg. So you're keeping one leg on the ball, one leg off the ball, and you're squeezing up at the top. This is the entire body working, but you're also squeezing that glute, obviously. That's an isolation move for the glute. Okay, the next circuit we're doing is kind of like across the gym. You're gonna utilize either the studio at your gym or the basketball court, whatever has a smooth surface or any kind of wide area. And we're gonna start with the walking lunges. You're gonna hold that dumbbell on top, up nice and high, and you're, you're basically using your core to stabilize that dumbbell up there. Okay, next we're doing the super low crawls. So just like you see in the video, I've got my knees bent nice and low. I'm about, I don't know, everybody's gonna be different. It really depends on your body. Um, but get as low as you can to the floor, keeping your knees bent, and you just walk. There's no weight added here, you don't need any weight for this, this is a body movement. And this is almost like a rest period after those lunges. So you go ahead and walk it across, back and forth, as many times as you can. People are going to ask how many reps of each exercise. You do as many as you can until your body says it can't do anymore. There's no magic number. A lot of people count to 15, 20. I want you to do every exercise until you can't do anymore. Next move is a horizontal twist. You're going to do these pretty fast. Keep your abs engaged and you can look either in the direction that you're turning or straight ahead. It's really best to look in the direction that you're turning, but I find that I get just a little tiny bit dizzy when I'm going at a fast pace and turning really fast. So it's totally up to you, whatever feels comfortable, as long as you're feeling it in your core and you're keeping your abs tight, your back is nice and straight, your posture is up nice and high. Okay, you're gonna finish with a bang and you're going to put one of those risers on the floor and you're going to be doing high knees, high knees, high knees, about 10 high knees, right into push-ups. You can add a clap in that push-up if you want. Standing up right away and jump across, a lateral hop across the top of the step, back into those push-ups, jumping up, high knees, and then a lateral cross hop back over the step. All right, you beautiful brides to be. Let me know what you think of this workout after you try it. Try this workout. I make it look easy, but you gotta try the workout and let me know what you think. Yeah. Other than that, I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to find me on Facebook, Twitter, and also check out LeanSecrets.com. I wrote a book and a cookbook and a recipe guide and a grocery shopping list, all for you so that you can get super lean and toned and firm for the rest of your life without having to diet or do any kind of crazy cuckoo stuff. So go to LeanSecrets.com, check that out, and other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!